Imagine waking up one day and realizing you have the power to rewrite your story, to redefine who you are and what you want from life. What if I told you that midlife is not a crisis, but an opportunity, a golden ticket to rediscover yourself and embark on an exhilarating new journey? Stay with me because in today's episode, we're going to unlock the secrets to finding your own path in midlife. And trust me, you won't want to miss a second of it. Today, we're celebrating independence, finding your path in midlife. You heard me right. We're celebrating you, your experiences, your dreams, and your journey. This isn't just about reinvention. It's about embracing your independence, cherishing your unique story, and carving out a path that truly reflects who you are. Today, we're exploring why midlife is the perfect time to focus on yourself and how you can start planning for the life you've always dreamed of. So let's dive in and celebrate the amazing person you are. Now that we've set the stage, let's talk about midlife reinvention. You might be wondering, what does that even mean? Picture this, you're standing at a crossroad with a map in your hand, and you have the freedom to choose any direction. Midlife reinvention is your chance to take a bold step forward, to redefine your purpose and live a life that excites and fulfills you. But how do we get there? Let's break it down. Midlife reinvention is all about focusing on yourself, discovering new passions and setting exciting goals for the future. It's a time to ask, what does this next phase of my life look like? This isn't just a daydream, it's an action plan. Think of it as your opportunity to design a life that makes you jump out of bed every morning. So what does that life look like for you? Start dreaming big because the possibilities are endless. Why is midlife reinvention so crucial? This phase is a golden opportunity because whether you realized it or not, you've accumulated a wealth of experience in various areas of life and business. You've become a master problem solver, and it's high time you start showing off those skills. Think of all the challenges you faced and conquered. Each one has equipped you with a unique insights and capabilities. Another reason why midlife reinvention is so important is that learning new things and expanding your current skills keeps us growing. Believe it or not, growth makes us feel younger. And that's something no wrinkled cream can provide. They say you're only as old as you feel. Every time I learn something new, I'm shaving off years off my mindset. Embrace this journey. Keep your mind agile and your spirit youthful. So you might be thinking, but Carmen, it's easy to talk about this, but where do I start? I hear you. And don't worry, I got answers. Now, I know I might sound like a broken record. Those who remember what records are, or vinyl as some call them, grab a notebook or a journal and start journaling. You might be thinking, I hate writing, and I don't see the connection between journaling and midlife reinvention. But trust the process. You'll begin to see the connections. Dedicate just 10 minutes a day to writing in your journal. If it feels overwhelming, start by debriefing your day. This will help you get into the habit of writing something down. Don't worry about grammar. This is just for you. Write down the things you're known for. If you're having trouble identifying what those are, write down every time someone contacts you for help. Create an ongoing note in your phone and jot down the name of the person who contacted you and their request. When you debrief your day, write in greater detail about their requests. To make these entries stand out, maybe highlight them or tab them so that they're easy to find. This way, you can begin to track the trends of your secret powers. See where I'm going with this? Another amazing thing about journaling is that as you continue, you'll discover more about yourself. 
you'll come up with new business ideas or personal goals that'll help you grow further in your midlife reinvention journey. It's a powerful tool for self-discovery and growth. By now, you should have a clearer picture of what midlife reinvention is and why it's so important. But how do you turn these insights into action? What steps can you take today to start your journey? We'll get into the nitty gritty of that next. But first, let's explore the stages of midlife reinvention. Trust me, this is where the magic really happens. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty of midlife reinvention. There are three main stages, exploration, experimentation, and stabilization. Each stage is designed to help you uncover your passion, test new waters, and ultimately establish a path that feels right for you. The first stage is exploration. If you've lost touch with your social connections, maybe because you're working from home or un other unforeseen circumstances, now is the time to be bold and bridge those gaps. Reach out to those people who know you best. Ask them, what am I known for? What brought us together? If you could describe me in one word or sentence, what would that be? Write down those answers. You might hear things like, you're nice, funny, or neat. But look deeper. You're searching for skills and strengths that you can expand on or maybe even turn into your next career. Once you've identified your superpowers, it's time for experimentation. Let's say people always ask you to edit their photos or take pictures, and you love doing it. Maybe photography is your hidden talent. Trust me, there are so many self-proclaimed photographers out there who haven't quite nailed the art. And then there are those who can capture breathtaking photos with just their smartphones. You might be that undercover photographer with a natural gift. Start experimenting with different types of photography, nature, portraits, events. See what excites you the most. Join online communities or local clubs to share your work and get feedback. Remember, this is your time to shine and discover what truly lights you up. Now let's talk about stabilization. If photography is your newfound passion, and you're ready to show off your stuff, ask yourself, what kind of photos do I like to take? Are they nature, people, places, sporting events? Once you've identified your niche, join a network group on Facebook or within your community. Connect with people who are ahead of you in their careers and learn from them. How did they turn this passion into a thriving business? Build friendships, share your work, and soak up their knowledge. Trust me, people who are good at their craft love to teach others and aren't worried about competition because they know there's plenty of work for everyone. Take photos and share them with your group. Ask for their opinion and recommendations. This is where you put your alligator skin on because constructive criticism can sting a little bit, but it's essential for your growth. As they say, put your big girl shoes on and learn to walk the walk. This stage is about honing in your skills and building a sustainable practice that aligns with your passion and goals. So now that you understand the three different stages of midlife reinvention, exploration, experimentation, and stabilization, each step is crucial in crafting a life that truly reflects who you are and what you love. But what does this process look like in real life? How do others navigate these stages and emerge transformed? We'll dive into some inspiring stories of midlife reinvention. Trust me, these stories will ignite your passion and prove that it's never too late to reinvent yourself. These are examples that show it's never too late to follow your passion and redefine your path. First, I want to share a story of Heather Hawk. In episode 32, Broadway, Big Screen, and Books, I interviewed this amazing storyteller, accomplished screenwriter, and Broadway librist. Heather's impressive portfolio includes screenwriting for Freaky Friday, What to Expect When You're Expecting, 
and Legally Blonde the Musical, to name a few. During the pandemic, Heather found solace in a lifelong passion for reading, and she's documented every book she's read since 1991. She decided to bring an idea that she had 30 years ago to life by writing a book. Here, Heather, an accomplished Hollywood and Broadway screenwriter, who in midlife decided it was time to take the leap of faith and become a novelist. And let me tell you, her book, the Trouble with Drowning is the best psychological thriller I've ever read. I highly recommend you add it to your list of must-read books. And you can read my full review at createthebestme.com forward slash book hyphen reviews. And watch the complete interview at createthebestme.com forward slash EP032. What inspires me about Heather is that during this time, the world was changing due to the pandemic and Hollywood screenwriters were on strike, meaning her professional career was at the stage of uncertainty. Despite this, she began to learn the difference between screenwriting and novel writing. And she managed to complete an amazing 306 page novel in just nine months. Yes. You heard me right, nine months. And for those who have read The Trouble with Drowning, you'll be thrilled to know that Kat, the main character, will be back in Heather's next novel. As for my own midlife reinvention, I realized that I've been reinventing myself several times over during my adult life. And I've gotten pretty good at it. I've reached a point to where I'm tired of always trying to be the person others want me to be. I'm tired of acting older than I am just to be taken seriously. Instead, I'd rather spend my time being my true, authentic self as a personal development coach and continuing to see the amazing gifts and talents that you are too afraid to share with the world nudging and challenging you to let your undercover superpower shine. Yes, that's my superpower, is inspiring and encouraging you. It's helping you reach your full potential and letting you know, I've got you and I believe in you. These stories illustrate that midlife reinvention is not just a concept, it's a powerful reality. Heather's story shows that it's never too late to pursue a dream, while my journey emphasizes the importance of authenticity and encouragement. But how can you apply these lessons to your own life? What specific steps can you take to start your reinvention journey? Stick around because we're diving into some practical tips for midlife reinvention that you can start using today. All right, now it's time to get practical. You've heard the stories, you understand the stages, but how do you actually start your midlife reinvention? Here are some tips to guide you on your journey. Let's get a little serious for a moment. By now, you're probably buzzing with all kinds of thoughts and goals, but I need you to narrow it down to just one. Yes, just one goal for now. Let's work backwards from there. For example, let's say you want to become a professional headshot photographer. So how do you get there? What steps do you need to take? First, let's break it down. If you're currently taking photos with your smartphone, it might be time to consider investing in a good quality camera, lens, lighting, and power supply. But before you rush out and buy equipment, sign up for a course. This will not only help you understand what gear you need, but also introduce you to a community of photographers. Another great benefit from taking a course is the connection with a network. Begin by taking headshots for free with permission to use them as marketing material. Once you've built a portfolio and can showcase your work, then join another networking group with other entrepreneurs and offer discounts and promotions. Remember, they need brand photos and you need the business. It's a win-win. This is where taking risks comes into play. You are your own billboard. If 
you don't let people know you're a professional headshot photographer, nobody will ever know about your secret superpower with a camera. Talk about your business and services with everyone you know. What's the worst that can happen? Some might say no, but others will say yes. There's only one way to find out. And don't be afraid to fail. There will be days when it feels like you're talking. Nobody's listening, but trust me, they are listening. They just aren't ready yet. Keep that word yet close to heart. Keep talking about your offer. Keep showing up. And eventually, the right people will respond. And there will be days when you don't quite get it right. And that's okay. It's all part of the process of becoming better at your craft. These tips are designed to help you take actionable steps toward your midlife reinvention. What are the benefits of going through this process? Why should you put in the effort to reinvent yourself? Stick around because we're going to explore the incredible benefits of midlife reinvention and how it can lead to a more fulfilling, happier, and meaningful life. Now let's talk about the incredible benefits of midlife reinvention. You've heard the stories and learned the steps, but why should you go through this transformative process? The answer lies in profound rewards waiting on the other side. The first major benefit is living a more fulfilling life. You've earned the opportunity to live this second half on your terms, doing the things that light you up, bring you joy. Imagine waking up every day excited about what you're doing, knowing that you're growing and inspiring those around you. This is your time to shine and live a life that truly resonates with your passion and values. Next, consider how this new path could transform your retirement. Imagine retiring from your current job and stepping into a business that allows you to work from anywhere in the world. You're not just retiring, you're reinventing your life on a global stage, getting paid to do what you love. Just thinking about it gives me goosebumps because it's freaking amazing. Finally, think about how much more meaningful your life would be. For me, inspiring others is what gets me out of bed every morning creating content that nudges you to unleash your undercover superpower gives my life purpose. Imagine feeling that same sense of purpose and drive every day. It's an incredibly powerful motivator. So we've covered a lot today. We talked about what midlife reinvention is and why it's important. We walk through the stages of reinvention, exploration, experimentation, and stabilization. We heard inspiring stories and discussed practical tips to get started. And now we've explored the amazing benefits that come from taking this journey. If you're ready to start your midlife reinvention, don't wait. Take your first step today. You can download today's transcript and get additional information at createthebestme.com forward slash EP071. Remember, your best life is waiting for you and it's never too late to reinvent yourself next week we have a truly inspiring guest joining us shannon talbot an author speaker and a fierce advocator for women her latest book breaking free is a guide to transformation and self-discovery in breaking free Shannon, a once top executive in banking, then marketing firm, who walked away from it all, shares her personal journey of courage and reinvention, reminding us that midlife is an opportunity to rewrite our stories and embrace our passion. And remember, the only limit to your reinvention is your imagination. Dream big, take action and watch as your life transforms in ways you never thought possible. Thank you for watching or listening. Catch you next week. Bye for now.